Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and today, guys, we're gonna be talking about Black Ops 4 Zombies, not Fortnite, and what people want as far as difficulty goes. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, a couple days ago, I asked on Twitter, do you want Black Ops 4 Zombies to be more difficult or easier than Black Ops 3 Zombies? Comment why below. So I got a bunch of comments and 631 votes and 77% of people want Black Ops 4 to be more difficult than Black Ops 3. But I'm going to be reading some comments that I got down below. A lot of people said the same so I'm going to just say that out of the gate right away. I probably should have included that as an option for voting but if you guys don't follow me on Twitter make sure to follow me at GregFPS so you guys can voice your opinion when I do polls and things like this. But anyways guys if you do enjoy the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new and without further ado let's hop right into it all right guys so the first people to comment was mark and kushal who are high round players and mark said some maps on black ops 3 were just too easy for example ascension and rev people were hitting 240 on ascension in the first five days rev that wasn't the case because it was broken but you can camp till 255 now hoping Black Ops 4 will be harder so that there's more competition on the maps. So I can definitely agree with that and Kushal chimed in and said, if there is a round cap again, competition will die quickly if you can reach a certain round obviously. And then Mark replied, I hope they make the round cap higher. No one will reach round 511 if they code the game that way. So if you guys didn't know what they're talking about in Black Ops 3, the round cap was round 255. Once you got to 255, you couldn't go any higher. It was still, you know, you could kill all the zombies and the round would change, but it wouldn't really change because it's stay 255. Like there's no way to get it higher if that makes any sense. So you can like essentially kill all the zombies zombies around 255 but the number would never change so it is definitely one of those things that a lot of high round players wanted an increase in because there have been a lot of people that have gone to around 255 I wouldn't say like a ton but like I believe the amount is around like 10 or 15 people I'm not really 100% sure on that number but that is definitely something that a lot of high round players didn't like where it was capped off as far as that goes because on some other maps it's more of a time thing and you're racing against time instead of you know racing against the actual rounds so a lot of people want higher rounds and i think that would be good just for the high round community you know to be able to get some higher rounds so it's more competitive so i can definitely agree with that one uh, the next comment is from Sutton's Gameplay who said, I want to like Black Ops 1 type hard if they can improve it just a little. So as you guys know, I would probably consider Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 to be the most difficult zombies. We're not really going to include World at War, but um, overall, I would say I, I would agree with that. I think that Black Ops 1 was pretty much perfect when it comes to zombies, in my opinion, and Black Ops 2 did a really good job as well. But I think in Black Ops 3, they did make it a little bit too easy. So having, you know, a little more difficulty there I think would be really really good especially if it was more like Black Ops 1. The next comment is from Nukeboy3000 who commented I feel like Black Ops 3 was an introduction to zombies for new players now it should go back to show all the new players the true core zombies difficulty and experience so if you guys haven't figured it out now I definitely want Black Ops 4 to be much more difficult than Black Ops 3 was. I think it was really, really easy. So I like this comment from Nukeboy because he wants it to go back to what it used to be. With a two hit system, it was really, really difficult because you had to be really careful and you wanna make sure you get jug as fast as possible and things like that. So I can definitely agree with that one for sure. Now for me, I would personally like a two hit system because I definitely think it's more difficult. Do I think they'll actually change it back? No, absolutely not. I don't think they're ever going to do that, but I would really like to see that actually. The next comment is from Jaguar115 and he said, same. So he wants Black Ops 4 to be the exact same as Black Ops 3. And to be honest with you guys, that would be fine with me. But at the same time, like I said, I do want a little bit more difficult, maybe removing some of the more OP gobblegums like Perkaholic and near-death experience and things like that it would make it a little bit more fun in my opinion because for me i like being an exceptional zombies player i want to be you know one of the best players or considered to be one of the best so when they add in the thing where everyone is you know has like there's no real skill gap 
then everyone's pretty much the same and you can't really you know become a really good zombies player because pretty much everyone else plays the same way you do so i think they really need to add some sort of skill gap where you can definitely see like you know for example a normal player from a really skilled player i'd love to see some sort of thing like that because in black ops 2 we actually got that with the ranking system now it was just number rankings in black ops 3 so i'd like to see some sort of ranking system as well as a number rank maybe that'd be really really cool to see the next comment is from clumps who said no op gobblegums like at all so i can agree with this one it definitely makes the game more difficult but i also see why treyarch had to implement more op gobblegums it was activision saying you know uh we need some really good microtransactions that people are going to want to buy so that's why they had to add in some really op stuff so i wouldn't really blame treyarch for that it's more of activision's fault but i can understand what you're saying because you don't really want anything op i think if Infinite Warfare did a really really good job with that and also World War 2 Zombies doesn't really have anything too too OP so I think those are both really good options of what Treyarch could do as far as like OP things and not being too overpowered but still being good. The next comment is from Daz who said they need to cater more towards the casual players. Sure, add some things for the hardcore players, but give those that play a few times a week the chance to experience more. So these people that play, you know, casually every a couple times a week, they're more the players that are just going for like higher rounds, just trying to kill zombies. They're not really working towards the Easter egg. And a good response to this was from Otis Chef who said, zombies core and hardcore so i actually like this idea and it kind of ties along with the easy mode that was in black ops 2 where you could play easy and not have to worry about doing the easter egg or anything like that and that made it a lot more simple because most of the easter egg elements were not even included in the map and you could just play it for high rounds so i think that's a really really good idea to include a different difficulty as far as that goes and world war ii was the first one that really introduced this besides black ops 2 where they had a core and hardcore easter egg that were included on the final reich the first map now they didn't bring that to the darkest shore but it was still a step in the right direction of what otis actually ended up liking so i do kind of like this how there's a core and hardcore easter egg but at the same time i don't i think that one map uh, with different difficulties would be better um, and obviously it was the same with uh, you know the final Reich how you play the same map it's not really too different but I think that having just a mode that has no Easter eggs and maybe alter the map a little bit have pack a punch somewhere easy to get to just like on the map or something would be a little bit better just for the more casual players the next comment is from Tyler Halls who commented Black Ops 3 Zombies is so easy. Literally any gun is a wonder weapon and don't even get me started in the mega gobblegums unless you quit easy 40 plus rounds every game. So I would pretty much agree with Tyler on this one. The double pack a bunch abilities were extremely overpowered because you could go for infinite rounds just using those and they killed zombies no matter what round it was so this was definitely something that i think harmed the game overall uh and i do like the innovation like i think it was really cool that you could double pack a bunch but at the same time it did make it a lot easier to go for high rounds so i think that they should remove it to be honest with you guys i don't think they're going to honestly i'd like to see more double pack a bunch abilities if they bring them back but at the same time, you know, I think that they kind of messed up there big time. I'd like to see like an ice one that freezes zombies, kind of like the ice staff. I think that might be really, really cool. There's so many different ones that they could add in. So definitely something to see uh, when Black Ops 4 releases. But overall, I'd like to see, you know, the game a little bit more challenging. The next comment is from saucyboy27 who commented more simple and more difficult so he wants it to be a little bit more simpler now as you guys remember on shadows of evil it was definitely not the most simple map out there it was pretty difficult for everyone to figure out you know the different rituals and things like that especially for players that were going in blind and didn't know about it so I can definitely agree with that one. Not a lot of people know how to even pack a punch on the game. I believe pack a punch is at probably around 10%. I know it was at like 9% back when like Dorazendrak was out. 
so i'm pretty curious to see what the actual percentage is now as far as people who have actually pack punched on shadows i would assume a lot of casual players don't even know how the next comment is from quinn casey who commented i want some bad guns in the box black ops 3 guns were way too good there need to be some grenade launchers and dual pistols with practically no ammunition but also good guns that are satisfactory to use it will be hard to balance so uh this directly reminds me of black ops 1 there are a lot of decent guns there are a lot of bad guns and a lot of good guns also black ops 2 had some really bad guns as well you can get the rpg the war machine the smr things like that they were just horrible to use and then in black ops 1 there was a lot of any other things too like the m72 law was bad um there was just some bad trash weapons in that game overall and then there were some decent ones as well so i think having a good box balance would be really really nice to see having the ballistic knife back in zombies you know there's a lot of things they could add in to make it a little bit more difficult and i think having a more mixed balance when it comes to the mystery box makes zombies more fun because it's more of a chance would you go for the wall weapon that you know will get you to round 20 or do you risk your points and go for a box hit and possibly get an rpg type weapon so definitely a really really good thing i think if they mix it up it makes it a little more difficult and also you know makes it more interesting as well the next comment is from snowblinded36 who said i want it to be more chaotic like black ops 2 the so black ops 2 is definitely more chaotic i think for mob of the dead and origins those maps seem to be a little more crazy and hectic i wouldn't really say transit is too bad but i can understand once you get into the high rounds pretty much all the maps make it more chaotic so overall i'd like to see that as well i agree with that comment the next one is from ismo who commented easier the zombies attack speed in black ops 3 was ridiculous so i can kind of agree with this one it was a little bit different but i think for most players that were used to zombies it wasn't really that different and i don't really see too much of you know a change from black ops 2 to black ops 3 but that's just my opinion so if you think that it should be easier i mean that's your opinion uh, I'm not going to mess with your opinion, but for me, like I already stated, I want it to be more difficult. The next one is from Dankboy83, and he said, to be honest, I would like normal mode and easy mode added back in. So this kind of tags along with the whole thing that we saw with Black Ops 2, where there was an easy mode and a normal original mode as well. Uh, I 100% agree with that one for custom games. That makes perfect sense, Dankboy. So I agree with your comment. And last but not least, we have one more from Dylan Blood who commented, I'm a casual player. Zombies sucked in Black Ops 3 because the maps were Easter egg based. I would love for it to go back to Black Ops 2's difficulty level. So I agree with this one. I think that Black Ops 2 uh, was just like an overall great game. It had a mix of difficulty and the maps were pretty good as well. Uh, Mob of the Dead and Origins are still my two favorite maps ever. So I think that overall having those two maps, having more difficult maps as opposed to like Die Rise, which was fairly easy, or Buried, which was easy. I think that it was really nice how they had the balance. They had Nuketown. So if you just want to go for like high rounds or kill zombies, you could hop on Nuketown, just a regular survival map. So I definitely like the, you know, different things that Black Ops 2 had. So if they do end up adding most of the maps from Black Ops 2 into Black Ops 4, that would be awesome. I'd love to see Mob, obviously, and Buried, Die Rise, Transit, Remastered, you know, all that stuff. Nuketown. I'd love to see those maps come back. So it's going to be really interesting to see what we get in Black Ops 4. But anyways, guys, if you didn't see your opinion voice out of these comments, make sure to comment down below your opinion on this and maybe I'll make a part two. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.